Art and Design, Creating a Cartoon Character, Part 2. So we left off with the black and white drawing, and now to add colour, we're going to want to add another layer. But this time, we want to make sure that that new layer is underneath the outline. We can create as many layers as we want, um, but for this one, uh, we're going to make this the skin colour. So go and pick the brush that you would like to use. You can use the marker, you could use the watercolour tool, anything you like. Um, and then you're going to want to pick your skin colour. At this point, all you're going to do is just colour in the parts that you want to make skin. Don't worry if you make any uh, mistakes. Remember there's a rubber tool that we can erase all of the little um, errors that we make. So that's not a big deal. So next, uh, if you want to, I'm going to add a little bit of contouring, a little bit of shadow to the face. Um, and I've lowered the opacity so that I can keep layering it um, to make it darker and lighter. Um, as we know, there's a lot of anime characters or cartoon characters that have quite rosy cheeks. Um, so once I finish this, I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick a nice pink. And then I'm going to add a little bit of colour to the cheek. I have made a little mistake. Um, I've made it a little bit too harsh around the edge. So the edge of that little pink cheek is a bit too heavy. So I want to soften it down. Um, to do that, I want to pick the skin colour next to it. So that really light peachy colour. And I just need to go into my little colour tool and I use the dropper. See the little dropper tool in the top right hand corner. Um, and then I'm going to use this. I'm just going to go over all of the edges and just soften it down a little bit so it's not too harsh. All right, so we're going to move on. And now I'm going to start thinking about colour. So in the assignment that was set, um, if you're watching this and it's not an assignment, then obviously you can ignore this part. But if it was an assignment, we want to think about colours. So we were thinking about contrasting or complementary colours. For example, here I'm doing um, red and green. Um, you could also have, show you the example, you could have orange and right across is blue, you could have pink and lime. Um, it's really handy having this colour wheel because then it shows you what colours are options for contrast. Don't forget contrast um, when we're talking about colour can also be black and white um, if you want to go for that. So I'm going to choose uh, my colours to be blue and orange for my contrast and I'm going to make her eyes blue. So I'm going to pick the tool that I want. I'm going to make a new layer um, to do the eyes just in case I make a mistake. You don't have to but if you make a mistake um, you can delete out the eye colour rather than deleting her whole face and all the other work you've done. So I'm just going to carefully colour in her eyes. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start on her hair which obviously as we're doing opposites um, I've chosen to, um, I've chosen to do orange. So I'm going to make a new layer again just in case I make a mistake. I'm going to choose uh, the marker pen and I'm just going to go ahead and start colouring it. You don't necessarily need to have uh, an apple pen or a stylus to do this and um, it's helpful if you do, if you don't, don't worry. Um, to colour in and to colour in in detail um, you zoom right in, you're just really 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 close because then you can use your finger to be more accurate um, I have a stylus which it does make it easier and um, so I can do it from slightly further away. Um, once I finish the hair uh, I'm going to choose any colour I want. I'm going to stick in the blue green region um, to you know continue that complementary contrast um, and I'm going to colour in her earmuffs. Um, if you're doing this for um, the assignment set during remote learning um, don't forget that the whole point is to think about your colours and creating a contrast. Um, and this can be done in a number of ways. If you want to add a background, um, you could do a background. If you want to have two contrasting coloured eyes, uh, it, it's honestly in any way you want to create contrast is totally fine. Um, but more than anything, doing it this way gives you an opportunity to try out uh, using digital technology and, and drawing um, digitally. You'll notice that I've got a lot of rough edges around the hairline and it's a little bit messy. You can go in with an eraser tool, especially if you've created a separate layer. It's much easier 
you can get your eraser tool and rub out all those little messy bits. To be honest, I'm going to leave mine um, the way it is. I think it looks okay. Uh, to share, just press the top left hand button, press share, save it to your iPad. Um, if you're doing the assignment, you can then upload it from there.